This? Oh, can you hear me? Can you? How's that? Yeah. Better? Um, how's that? Okay. Um, we're in the sheeted intrusive complex. Um, I'm actually standing above, there's a, a 10 centimeter dike right down here that you can see two sh chilled margins on. To the left where everybody is standing, there are a series of one-way chilled margins and there's a bunch over in this direction here. This is actually where Dan Day did his master's thesis and I'd like to call on him to um, actually tell you what's going on here. <laughs> My thesis, Eldridge talked me into doing uh, the, the dike complex here at Smartville. And so I spent the summer just crawling across these rocks. And, and actually, I, I hadn't been back here for it three months. <laughs> yeah, I probably fell off too, yeah, a couple of times. But uh, it, um, the, uh, I haven't been back here in 35 years, but I, I managed to get a hold of my, my thesis. And I did a sketch map as I walked across this, these outcrops. I drew in the, the diking relationships that I saw, uh, and I, I sampled at various points along the outcrop. The uh, compositions of the dikes range from basaltic up to diabasic, and there's even one large uh, rhyolite dike that cuts through this section here, cuts through everything. That, as you can see across the road there, there's a, a whitish band on the, the road cut over there. That's a, a porphyritic rhyolite dike. I don't know if it's even part of the uh, uh, original ophiolitic sequence or, or not, but it cuts through everything. But the, the compositions range from, as I said, basalt and a, a significant amount of andesitic and, and dacitic compositions. So there, there seems to be a calc alkaline composition to this. As you go along here, uh, you'll, you'll see that there's, uh, as Eldridge mentioned, there's probably about possibly four different uh, periods of intrusion. You've got half dikes, you've got periods of, of uh, dikes that crosscut those dikes, then you have large single dikes are about two feet or three feet across where you can see the margins on either side. And then you've got a late stage. A uh, late stage, uh, smaller, uh, dark, aphanitic dikes that are of basaltic composition. I've shown them in black on this diagram. So what I'd suggest is I've, I've marked off uh, with a uh, green paint the uh, the large dike between two D's on the marked on the edge of the road here. If you go down to the first arrow and continue uh, around the corner, that's the best exposed section of dike. Right here, it's it's pretty much covered with grass and very steep. You can climb up. Uh, further uh, towards ver to the west. So walk down and, and where you hit the first arrow, then you can start going up and, and looking at the different relationships, cross-cutting dikes that all these are also epitatized or uh, reach species rocks that have been really completely altered, but uh, the texture still remains. So uh, somebody here in the crowd has my uh, thesis. I've got some photomicrographs of some of the textures that, that you see. But again, the, uh, the textures are preserved, but the chemistry has been uh, uh, completely altered from the original igneous compositions that one would expect. And also on here are some of the screens in, uh, that we'll see at uh, the Oregon Hill uh, uh, or Oregon Road outcrop uh, below this, this large section that's along Stanfield Hill here. That's right, um, right here. So really, it's it, right right here is where the white uh, outcrop, if you extend that across, this whole sequence trends north 10 degrees west and dips 65 to 80 degrees northwest. And you, Phil, you mentioned, uh, Phil had asked me whether we know these are, how do we know they're not uh, uh, sills? And uh, again, some of the evidence is that, that they'd have to be rotated 60 degrees to, to uh, uh, bring them uh, into the vertical and, and we don't see that kind of uh, uh, distortion in, in the ophiolite in this area so we assume that they are uh, dike rocks. But there's nothing right here that you can you can conclusively say indicates they're dike rather than so. Where are you going? Uh, 
Where's the rhyolite again? On your map? No, it, I see it there. Yeah, it's right here. Uh -huh. So it's, it's really, there's only about a third of the outcrop. It extends uh, two thirds of its on down the road. <coughs> so what is the base rock that he's cut up through? It's all... All basalt? All basaltic, yeah. Oh. Basaltic and, and rhyolitic composition. Yeah, it's basalt, but it's also on the... If you go down to Highway 20, you actually see these rocks cutting volcanoclastic rocks. So the, the pillow lava and, and volcanic well, the kind of classic section is folded before these dikes are coming in. Up here, you can see them actually cutting plagiogranite and, and high-level gabbro, and we'll look at that. Okay. So, which way is the older dike, and which way you the old dike? Well, you can you can tell which one is older because you can look at the one-way chilled margin, and it it varies from one place to the other. The question is, which way? Which one is older? And what I can say is, the one over here, there's two one-way tilt margins, so the one further away from me is older than the one closer to me. But that varies as, as from one place to the other on the outcrop. What okay. is the chilled margin? What is the chilled margin? When, when magma comes into colder rock, okay, the, it, it's chilled against the colder rock, and it crystallizes more quickly, so it becomes finer grain, maybe even glassy, than it is in the middle. So what you see is that this fine grain edge right next to the old rock, and so then in this dike here, you go from fine grain edge to a coarser grain middle to a finer, finer grain edge on the other side. But there are places where all you see is half of that. So you get these one-way chilled margins. Okay? And because the other thing has been intruded. The dike was intruded and hold that. And uh, so the dike is intruded. <coughs> another one comes up the middle of that, pushes the other one out the way. Another one comes up the middle of that. Pushes, it's more complicated than that. Successive. Yeah, successive intrusions in the same location. <coughs> so that, the key thing to see here is are these one way chilled margins? Oh, sorry. Multiple one way chilled margins. That's the thing to get out of this outcome. Yes, yeah, sir. Come here, I'll show you. Yeah. yeah. Basically, the other side of the dike is somewhere else. Yeah. Somewhere else in the complex, and it's, it's hard to piece all that together yeah. through all this, this mess that's here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you say they're better down there, so. Right, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. better to see down, down there. You can actually see two yeah. chilled margins on a dike. Okay, it's better down there. There are some here to see as well. If anybody wants to see it, I found a piece of rock here with lots of uh, sulfides in it and yeah. a white vein. There are sulfides, there are epididite, epididite.